now we will select all sections in this box and click on volume calculations button so after six steps of calculations net volume of cut and fill will be displayed When, when we will walk through on each section, we observe that at some change like 125, 150, 175, there is a need of shifting alignment towards the right side. Same case appears at RD 1150, 1175 and 1200. So for shifting alignment towards right side, we will activate design horizontal alignment tab. Activate Super Elevation Worksheet in background. Load SE table. Check on Edit Radius option. And press R4 for getting design alignments detail. After this, we will activate Extract Cross Sections tab. Select Alignment. See station offset and click on generate 2D sections labels button. 2D section lines along with RD labels will be plotted on alignment. With the help of RD labels, we will find portion of alignment which needs to be shifted. We will activate draw HA tab again and go to PI point nearest to our required RDs. When we will click on R3 button and pick new location for PI point, alignment will also shift keeping radius and all other parameters untouched. We will do same exercise on other portions of alignment where needed.
as length of horizontal alignment and position of changes that is different RDs is changed with this exercise so we will replot section lines and extract cross sections data First we will clear cross sections. Go to design and tune tab. Select layer for NSL that is in our case CS current surface. Check on erase existing. Select all sections from this box and click on plot user surface on sections button. So new NSL lines will be drawn in sections. So against these new refresh NSL lines, we will compute cut and fill quantities. We can see difference in quantities that is while shifting alignment towards right cut is increased and fill is decreased. We will again check all sections for any further need of adjusting alignment.